A new kind of screening for newborns is up for discussion in the state. KXAN's Stephanie Lee explains why parents of children with spinal muscular atrophy want the state to test for this debilitating disorder in all newborns. At six years old, every day is a reminder. Hunter's my hero. <laughs> Hunter is a fighter. Today, Crystal Davis is using her son's story to fight for other families. They told us to expect three to six months as Hunter was uh, so weak. When he was just eight weeks old, doctors told her Hunter had spinal muscular atrophy. It's like ALS in babies. It robs the ability to move, to swallow, and ultimately breathe. Luck connected their family with treatment options overseas. A researcher actually provided us the chemistry for a compound. We found um, an, a company that manufactured the compound. We took that to Mexico, and eight weeks after he was diagnosed, Hunter received his first life-saving treatment. Their family went to Mexico every six weeks for treatment. It was roughly a million dollars. Until the FDA approved Spinraza last year, the first treatment for this disorder in the U.S. With that step, the state is now exploring the option to add newborn screening for spinal muscular atrophy, but they're watching if it's recommended federally first. Crystal hopes it happens. I don't want another parent to be told there's no hope for your child. Steffi Lee, KXAN News. According to the organization Cure SMA, most states charge for newborn screening. Many private insurance programs, as well as CHIP or Medicaid, cover the cost. If this disorder is added on to what doctors must screen, it's up to state lawmakers to set aside funding for equipment and setup.